Okay, this is about the DSO 2D15 oscilloscope. What I'm getting is, um, first of all, the display is steady, but uh, you can see to the left of the number one DC symbol that there's a slight increase in colour. And the blue's very blue. Now this camera is actually enhancing it. If I slip, set this up, you can see, for instance, in the background. I mean, okay, this is actually very difficult to see. I'll go right close, and it might be out of focus, but you can see for a brief second the kind of left-hand band. And the background to say the reference level. So I'll do that again. See, there's a there's a background smudge, and if I now take it off, I mean it may be the fact that the LCD is being driven um, in some way that isn't isn't pretty good. But I'm not I'm not very happy. There's no reds in the display. Could actually could actually be the red channel's gone. That's that's what I actually personally I think that the red channel's gone. We've got a very purpley looking display there. Um, it's very difficult to actually render this properly on this on this mobile phone. Um, I can't really do it. But there's definitely a display problem with this uh, oscilloscope, which is a shame because it's brand new. It's very very fully featured scope. Um, lots of facility on it for the price. See, if I if I get this, I'll try again. It's a bit tricky, really. I'll go really close. You can see, as the camera closes its iris, you can see this kind of background white at the beginning of the left-hand side of the span. The you can just see see this. You know, and uh, what I'll do is I'll switch it off and then I'll, I'll start it up again. And you know, even on that, which you probably can't see, it, it looks a bit bad on that. If I press F, uh, I don't know which one, yeah, system info, hang on. Yeah, here's the here's the system info, and the the uh, the manufacturing date seems to be twenty three oh three twenty seven, and the software is one zero three oh, and the hardware is blah blah blah. Firmware is thirty two oh five. I noticed on the internet that, and I don't think this applies to my problem. I noticed on the internet that you do actually get a lot of people talking about having to find that they find that their scope is frozen. And then they have to go through a real rigmarole to upgrade the firmware. And the normal user probably wouldn't want to do all this. So you have to download some different patches and zips and things. Also, the other worrying thing about the Handtech site, and this is a real shame, is they don't tell you which is the latest version of firmware. So there's no way you can check. They just say download this zip file, which has got a, a, an installable probably the array the gate array stuff um so it's really it's really quite very sad that a folk that a, an oscilloscope as good as this and with such a reputation would have a very bad lack of support and i certainly from a professional level won't be advising my clients to buy these they they were actually going to buy quite a few of them but i'm going to say hang fire until i hear from hang hand tech or we'll go on a more expensive key site route so you know, they're going to lose business as a result of this. I, I, I'm not happy about that. I put in a firmware request, uh, sorry, a support request. And we'll just see, you know, if, um, if they respond to uh, a firmware. Uh, sorry, if they respond to a support thing. Yeah, wait a minute. Yeah, sometimes it, it's just really difficult. I mean, you can see there. You can see on the system info thing. I'll do that again. You can see this this banding on the left, 
it's looking like something's gone wrong with the dis display and I'm not into into fixing it I'm not into having it fixed it's going back and these two should be different colors they're slightly different colors on the on my mobile but to me and I haven't I've got good eyesight um, the colors the left hand one looks slightly lighter green than the right hand one they should be differentiated by the colors on the um, which you can't actually see here but if I, if I turn on a torch you've got a yellow and a green ring around the channel 1 and channel 2 um, inputs it's not really you know it's not it's not good so I, I want this answer I mean if I get another one I'll probably do another video and say yeah they're all the same it's just a defect in there um, addressing the pixels in the LCD display or they've got it they fixed it I've got a good one back so this is the 2d15 again and um, like here's the system info and I'll, I'll end this clip with a steady shot in focus if I can get it yet yeah, of the data of the scope hand tech very very annoying bought it through Lazada in Thailand by the way as well about 8,500 Thai baht which is not a lot of money a couple of hundred pounds ok that's it that's your lot I'll, um, I'll put some stuff in the comments if I get any feedback from these guys